Hey everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'm going to be starting out a little sketchbook project. I don't normally work out sketchbooks, but I thought it'd be fun to challenge myself to complete one. For the sketchbook project, I'll have a different prompt every day. It will be my goal to fill in one page based off the prompt, and then after practicing in the sketchbook, I'll create one final piece. The final piece will be on higher quality watercolor paper and will be more refined, as I want the sketches to be quick practice pieces. You've probably already noticed, but the first theme will be vegetables. I'm going to first figure out the composition I want these to be in. Since I'll be sketching these out in a size similar to life, I can actually just lay out the pieces on the paper. Alright, so I think I like that composition. I couldn't quite fit the onion in, but that's okay. I like the asymmetry of this composition. The celery is clearly seen better days, so it's a little bendy, but it does make a nice shape here. For the sketching process, I'm going to start with a very light sketch first. I'm just going to try to get the proportions down and not worry about the details quite yet. I'll be going back in with a softer, darker pencil to get the details later. If you guys have any suggestions for future prompts, let me know in the comments. I normally paint birds and other animals, but for this project, I'm willing to paint things outside my comfort zone. I think sketchbooks are a great place to play around with different ideas. Alright, now I'm going to work on the broccoli. I'm just adding a bunch of little curved shapes. So now I'm going to start painting things in. I'm going to try to keep the painting process pretty quick though, because again, this is supposed to be practice and not perfect.
I originally got the sketchbook a year or so ago with the intention of filling it out, and clearly I didn't make it very far, mainly because I don't really like painting on this paper. I don't really know how to describe it, but it feels like my brush glides too much on the paper. So that's why I'm just going to be using it for practice and then painting a final piece on Archer's paper.
All right, and then there's the final results. If you have any suggestions for future prompts, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.